All right, we're on to round two. We lost round one to the mirror match. Um, and we are going to play first, so that's good news. All right, looks like a decent hand. We've got a ghost quarter and some arbiters. We've got a displacer. We are keeping this one. And courtyard first. <clears throat> May not be a good idea to yield until I'm turn. At least bluff a path back side. Oh goodness, is this another mirror match? I sincerely hope not. Um, let's play. I was going to play Leon and Arbiter, but knowing that this is the mirror match, he's likely to be on his own ghost quarters and path to exile, so I don't think that's a very good idea. So we're going to go white, black, and we're going to Tide Hollow Scholar him this turn, and we're going to save for Arbiter next turn when we can um, play the ghost quarter and everything all at once. Ah, okay, it's this deck. All right, not a mirror match. This is that small pox Liliana of the Veil deck. So smallpox is a pretty brutal card we're definitely going to get rid of that but it doesn't really make a huge difference knowing that collective brutality is coming our way shortly um we're only delaying it oh god i hate this one um well we can keep him off no we can't we can't really keep him off the black banana Yeah, let's let's see if we can delay the smallpox until um, perhaps he uh, be, maybe I draw another tide hollow scholar or something of that nature. That's a good hand for him too, Liliana, Gideon, Gideon. That would be really tough to, for me to beat. What I can do though is I can really tax his land. So I'll play the arbiter. I'll play the Arbiter and I will Ghost Quarter his land. I don't think there's a whole lot he can do with just one land on the battlefield. So that's the good news. <clears throat> Especially with that hand. So he played the Fetid Heath. He's got an Urborg in hand. Does he want a Smallpox here? Yeah, I guess he does. Okay. I feel like I'm more... Uh, readily able to do more with just a single land, but I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> he keeps the Urborg, huh? Alright. Ah, what did I do? Oh no! That was wacky, so apparently I skipped my turn on accident. Oh, that sucks. That sucks a lot because I could be ghost quartering him right now. Jesus. <clears throat> well, folks, that's why you don't have six, I guess. No! Yeah, that makes a whole hell of a lot of difference in this game. All right, well, we're going to go with this one then. All right. Sacrifice, sacrifice, and sacrifice. Jesus. That's miserable. All right, I've got a path. That's not terrible. Seriously, he's drawing the lands? God. If he gets one more land and plays Liliana, I just concede. Gotta get this confidant going before that happens. Ah, there we go. That's a good draw. Okay, so let's... Um, huh, what are we gonna do here? Do we want the confidant... I think we do want to play Dark Confidant. I'm not too concerned about those tokens right now. The Displacer does start to eat the tokens, but there are just so many of them that it doesn't matter. Now, he... What did he do? Did he play... He played the Souls from Exile. Oh, he discarded that with Smallpox and played the Souls from Exile. Okay. So, let's go ahead and play Dark Confidant and just hope to God he doesn't draw another land for Liliana.
Ah, he does, but it's that one. Okay. All right, this isn't terrible because we can play another creature and protect him. Or, oh, we've got Tide Hall of Scholar, even better. Um, okay, so let's get in there. No, let's not get in there. What am I talking about? We're going to play this guy. Let's see what he's got in his hand now. Two Liliana of the Veils. Okay, so it doesn't do me much good to exile that. I guess it doesn't do me much good to exile anything at this point. But, um... Perhaps I do grab one Lily, force him to minus two his other Lily. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Two, three. Man, I really hate playing against this deck. I sacrifice is the question I think I have to sacrifice the scholar because I really do need to draw the cards off the confidant now if I do get let's see if I sacrifice confidant and I draw a land I can wasteland strangler one of the spirits and path the other one but I really don't want to be pathing a spirit knowing that he's got all those planeswalkers in his hand so no, oh, this is miserable. All right, we'll do this. Okay, well, this isn't terrible. Uh, protection from black is pretty good. I like that a lot. And a land. Wow, that's exactly what I needed there. Okay. He does have another Lily coming down, um, but I think that I want to get this Mirror and Crusader online as soon as possible so I can start attacking through. I don't really care about him making me discard right now. Or do I? No, if I commit, if I commit to killing that Liliana, um, then the second Liliana gets played. And I die anyway. No land. No lands. Oh, there's one. Alright. So, pretty much the worst case scenario here is, is like, Gideon. And that's just about exactly what he's going to do. Now, do I want to discard Path? I think I might want to discard Eldrazi Displacer. Yeah, let's get rid of the Displacer. Interesting. Sacrifices the creature. Okay. Well, we're going to sacrifice Confidant. Ah, okay. So we need to take care of that Psalm uh, Visitor because it's going to make his creatures big enough to just about kill me next turn. Um, we also need to take care of him. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a really bad situation. Let's see here. We can... Well, we can exile one of his creatures. What color is the vampire? It makes a black vampire token with flying. Um, we don't have this anymore, so there's Gideon and a Solemn Visitor in his hand. Now, I feel like we're being baited into attacking this Liliana. But I do have to... No, he doesn't want to discard. We're going to attack him. We've got to get him dead. Two, three, four. Thought Knots here. 
Now Thought Not Seer can trade with this, the, or can kill the Shambling Fence if that thing attacks. It can um, get rid of the Solemn Visitor. Now Gideon gives him an emblem too. Hopefully that's the plan he goes with because I can deal with both of the two tokens if that's what happens. And then he's left with no Gideon, of course. But I think I should be able to pull that one off. All right, we're gonna discard a path. Yeah. Discard the Marsh Blast. He'll likely just get the um, two two token one. Nope, get the emblem. Awesome. Okay. I think we're in business then. We got a one life. All right. So here's crunch time. We're going to go one, two, three, and. Kill a flyer. No, lingering souls, you're not going back to the graveyard. <laughs> and let's just hope that. Let's see, this is going to become a 3 4. Let's just hope that there's no chance of um, another lingering soul showing up. Now, do I just attack him for 4? Am I concerned about the discard? Does that make me sacrifice a creature? If I bring him down to seven he can block with this shambling fence he can make me sacrifice a creature I think I need to kill Liliana I hope he drew a land this turn he's been really good at drawing lands this game I hope that it happened again <clears throat> Maybe a fail push, that wouldn't be so bad. I already got a planes. Hmm. Now this is risky. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I do have 11 damage. Shambling Vent eats my Wasteland Strangler. Um, it also eats my Mirror Crusader. So I think that perhaps my best plan here is to attack with just Thought Not Seer and then I can play Thalia and then I team Thalia and Mirror Crusader up to double block Shambling Vent when, when the time comes. If I get him down to 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I'll have enough to kill him with the remaining attackers um, next turn. So just Thought Not is getting in there. Um, good. White and colorless. And we'll hold this land in hand to bluff a fatal push or something. I guess it's not a good bluff when I have Thalia on the table. Blood gas. Gross. Blood guys can't block. Ah, oh, Flicker Wisp, you're a great draw. One, two, three. Let's flicker the vents. And that should do it, assuming that there's nothing in his hand. I mean, that's a pretty bold assumption. Let's see, four, five, six, seven. If he kills my biggest creature, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's still enough to kill him. Woo, all right, that was a good one. At one life. 
even with the accidental pass turn in the midst of all that. Sorry you had to see that, folks. All right, Piffing Needle's good here. We want to take care of all those pesky planeswalkers, and we want to get that done on turn one before we get smallpox into oblivion. Um, boy, is it hard to uh, combat smallpox. There's not a whole lot I can do. Though Aether Vial is a good turn one play with smallpox in mind because I don't have to commit to having a creature out before that card gets played. And if I start to lose my lands, I've got Aether Vial as backup. Um, Mirror Crusader was pretty good there. Though... It's not the most effective. They're really, like, I mean, I know that he's on a lot of black spells, but there's not a lot that's really going to target this guy, and none of his creatures are really black to block it, so I don't know if that really matters so much. But I definitely am going to want some Orzhov Pontiffs, so we'll put those guys in there to take care of the Souls tokens. Um, let's see, what else? Rest in peace is probably good against Lingering Souls as well. I don't know if I want to try to squeeze that in, though. Dark Confidant I definitely want. Thalia I want. Leonin Arbiter I want. Flicker Wisp. Yeah, this stuff is all good. I think my deck is generally pretty good against him. Path is not so great against him. Let's cut the paths and opt for Fatal Push and Zealous Persecution. You know what? We do need the path against Gideon, though, so we want some numbered path. Let's put two path in there. So when Gideon gets animated and attacks with five, we will need to deal with him. Um, also, opposing Dark Confidant is something that's uh, that's a real deal. Anguish on Making will probably need against the Planeswalkers as well. So let's see. Mirror Crusader, while it's good... I don't know that we really want it here. Let's cut Mirror Crusader. Aldrazi Displacer is great always, but it doesn't do a whole lot. It doesn't have a whole lot of activity in this matchup. Leonin Arbiter is not a whole lot live here, especially on the player uh, on the draw, I should say. Um, but I think just in general, we want to cut some of our three drops. Maybe one Arbiter. He's just gonna eat a small pox. Um, maybe a displacer. We just don't have the mana to activate it. And I think that we're going to go with this. Zealous Persecution is pretty damn good against souls. Not another time. All right. If that's a mid, oh shit! <laughs> All that talking. All right. Well, we're gonna go main deck against this guy then. I guess we'll keep that hand. That's a pretty damn good hand. Fortunately, we lucked out on that one. Uh, <laughs> All right. We've only got ah oh, crap. Okay. I'm gonna take that aether vial. We've only got one colored source of mana in that concealed courtyard, so I'm not going to play that into a small pox. Takes my Arbiter. Okay. Or am I not? I have two. Okay. Let's see. I think we might want the... Actually, concealed courtyard isn't bad here. Let's go with concealed courtyard into Aether Vial. Maybe we can bait the small pox because now he thinks I only have one white source. But I actually have two. Ah, uh, there's another reason I want my path still. And let's play the other courtyard. the other courtyard and the Thalia. <clears throat> Ugh, this isn't looking good. Okay, I'll 
<clears throat> Dog's going off again. She's offended by that play. All right, um, Eldrazi Temple. All right, let's get some. Let's deal with some of the Planeswalkers he's got in his hand, inevitably. Lingering Souls and Damnation. Um, I think we want to get the Souls. Um, I'm not too concerned about the Damnation. He doesn't have the fourth land. And if he draws a land into Damnation, that leaves him with nothing in his hand and no Souls to boot. So that would be totally fine by me. Um, yeah, I'll block that. That seems suspicious. So what are the possibilities here? He could have a collective brutality to finish off my thought knots here. He could just have drawn the land for damnation. I think I'll just take it. Ah, it is a land. Okay. Ah, Mirror Crusader. That's a good card. Um, let's see if let's see cards here. Let's see if we ghost quarter. We can ghost quarter one of his lands and see if he's got many basic flesh. I'm sure he does. Because we can start to come after them. Maybe that's not worthwhile. But the good news is this is I I do have Aether Vial on three for Mirror Crusader um, at the end of his turn if he does uh, damnation me. So maybe just holding back and blocking isn't the worst thing, but I think no, we want to get aggressive. Yeah, especially knowing that we can be putting eight damage on him next turn. That's pretty damn good. Let's play Ghost Quarter and pass. Let's see the damnation. Anything? Yeah, there it is. Okay. <coughs> Not terrible. So now I know nothing about the cards in his hand. He does have a land. I think I want to ghost quarter that vent now while the blood gas are in play because we don't want to activate their landfall. Just deal with the the turn. And we'll keep that on three. Drowsy Displacer, all right, one, two, three, four. All right, cool. So. Getting in there for four. I have got enough mana to Eldrazi Displacer and blink both of those guys. But I'm certainly not going to play him knowing that Damnation is afoot. We're just going to take four. This turn. Small pot. Let's flood a mana. Yeah, that's fine. Discard. Sacrifice. All right, the mana was irrelevant. Okay, and stat play a creature. And he 
keep it on three. Thought not steer. Interesting. Thought not steer is not a bad draw here because he can block those guys. And I think that is just fine. We're going to get in for three. Put him at six. That's one turn away from death. If he just draws a land next turn, I win the game. One, two, three, four. And now if he draws a removal spell next turn, we're in trouble. Doesn't attack. I wonder why he doesn't attack. Okay. Blood gas can't block. What am I afraid of? We'll get in there. We'll just go go in. See what happens. <clears throat> All right. Cool. Wow. So um, yeah, we lucked out there. Pretty decent. Uh, pretty decent opener and pretty decent draws, despite <laughs> my lack of sideboarding. I apologize for that. Um, I thought that when you run out of time, it just submits what you currently have, but I think you do have to hit submit, and so. <laughs> there you have it there's game two win versus black white um planeswalker smallpox whatever you want to call that deck